pot of boiling water. The boiling water will uh, purify and cleanse the silverware to where it is Passover ready. Cleaning a Jewish home for Passover is one of the most labor-intensive, grimy, beautiful, frustrating, fulfilling experiences in the Jewish year. Because literally, we have to get rid of every particle of what is called chametz. It refers to anything made out of either wheat, oats, barley, spelt, or rye, which are the five grains which in biblical times were native to the land of Israel. You have to remove completely every particle of chametz, this non-Passover grainy stuff, out of the house. That means scrub under the refrigerator. It means, you know, that last little bit of flour that's on the outside of the bag that gets on the shelf in the, in the pantry, gotta clean it. Gotta clean and scrub everything. Make sure there are no crumbs. Make sure there are no particles, no residue. When you think that your entire house is clean the night before the first Passover Seder, you turn out the lights, you get a candle or a flashlight so that the contrast between light and dark helps you see things you might have missed before while you were scrubbing and tired during the day. And you look through the entire house.